everyone. Welcome to the demo of the Microsoft Planner, which is available on Office 365. It's available for a bunch of plans. Usually people are wondering which plans they're available on. So it's available on the Enterprise E1, E3, E5, and E4. Also the education plans, the E4 and the E3 plans, and Office 365 Business Essentials and Business Premium. So we'll jump straight in and pretty much to get to the planner, which it's rolled out to all the available tenants now, there's this little green icon, which you can click on the login screen, or you can click up here in the top left and go to planner. Now we're just using a demo tenant here. So this isn't actually live data. That's why it says good evening mod. So it'll redirect us to the planner project list. And what the idea of planner is, it's a good place to store project plans. So if you have multiple people working on a project, you can assign tasks, make different buckets of tasks and track how they're going. So when you go to the planner dashboard, which is here, you can see your favorite plans and all the plans are down here. So let's say we want to add a plan to our favorites you can click here and say add to favorites and then it'll just pop up in the dashboard so from the dashboard we can easily see the status of our different projects like let's say the online marketing project it has 17 late tasks two not started tasks and one completed and it shows you the different colors for the different statuses so obviously not started late in progress and completed and over on the left, it shows our favorite plans and you can go into all plans and click on one. So first, let's just go through a plan here, which is our online marketing plan. So to get into it, you just click on it and it will redirect us into the plans homepage. So now what we have here is our different buckets of tasks. So we've got our launch events, our messaging and branding and our to do's. So it has all these different tasks. It shows you that they're overdue by the red and it'll change colors for the different statuses and these little things here. So these buckets are just places to store different events. So let's say we wanted to add a new bucket and call it Facebook marketing. And there we go. So now we've got a Facebook marketing thing bucket and we can just add in a new task to let's say launch Facebook ads. You can set a due date just by clicking and we might set that to the 13th and you can add an assignment. So that's basically who the task is assigned to. Let's assign it to Anne. We'll say add task. Now we can see that Anne's got this task in her basket and it's due by the 17th. Let's say we wanted to set the task so it's got in progress. You can actually click on the task and just hit down on the progress thing and say that it's in progress. And that'll let everybody know that the task is in progress. It's been started and actioned and it's on the way to finishing. So we can also change the grouping by. So we can sign, pick it, group it by who it's assigned to. Now we can see all the different people that have tasks. We can group it by where it's up to in its progression. So you can see not started, progressed and completed. So that's pretty simple. We can also look at charts. So this just gives a gr easy graphic view of the project and where it's at. So we can see all these people have things assigned to them. There is one task unassigned and this is the basic statuses. We also have notebooks. So you can have a OneNote notebook attached to it, a calendar, files, places to store your files, view the members. So let's just say we wanted to view our notebook that's associated with it. It'll pop open a tab and this is just somewhere that people can pop their notes in if they want to if that's part of what you're doing. If not, that's fine. So that's basically what a project in the planner will look like. 
Let's just take you through how simple it is to open a new project. All you have to do is hit new plan and give it a name. Let's say um, computer refresh. It will make an email address for the plan. So if you need to email or put an email in there so everyone can see it, which is associated with the plan, you can just email it to computer refresh and you make the plan public so everyone can see it or set it to private. Then it'll just do its thing and create you a new plan. So as you can see, we now have the computer refresh plan. So let's create some buckets for this plan. And we'll add a new bucket and we will call it scope. Find We'll just add in a couple of tasks, laptops, so now we've got our tasks, we're going to set a due date on the last one, so we want all of this completed by the 27th of October, we'll add in a couple of members, so we'll add in Alex, And as you see, it loads the little name here. And Brian. Excellent. So now we've added our three new team members, and their pictures will show up up here. So let's just add that in. So from here, we can, let's say the project's underway, we can just mark things as completed, like that. We can mark the thing that's in progress. We can put in descriptions um, to enter serial numbers into database. And then we'll have all this uh, stuff done. We can put in comments if you want to. You can attach things to the tasks. We can tick this to show on the card as well. So now it'll show that comment on the card. And if we go back to our planner hub, we can now add this uh, computer refresh plan into our favorites and have it on our dashboard. So that was basically a quick introduction into the Microsoft Planner. If you have any questions or you'd like an in-person demo, feel free to come into the shop or send us an email or connect with me on LinkedIn.